Rock down here. Uh, Goombay 2014, Mr. Chapman. Chapman, let me uh, know a little bit of history about that Goombay that's going on. Let the people out there in the world know what's happening down here in Key West. Well, the Goombay, see, the thing about it is this. They got the sign go from one side of the Tony Street to the other, other side by the Wall Street to Bahama Village. Now this boy been a Bahama Village uh, a holiday. Like you got fancy fest. Correct. See, because years ago, a black man was not allowed to come to Key West. He could fish in the ocean, but he couldn't come in. Then somebody said, well, let him come. Maybe they help build a place up. That big rocks in 90 miles to Cuba on Whitehead Street, all the way down, put them blacks in the back. When they put us back there, they put that sign up there. That's when we had the holiday. Holiday. See? That's when we had the holiday. Right. Okay? <laughs> and they want to mingle with us. Only one white man. So he didn't go from that way for the rap. Right. So only one guy. One guy. He said, my black brothers and sisters, I'm going back there and mingle with them. I'm going to shoot marbles, spend time, party with them. And the other one said, yeah, but what happened if they beat you up? He says, that's worse than what we did to them? That was Ernest Hemingway. Okay. He was the only one to come back here and be with us. The only one. And when he died, the people cried like a baby because they know they lost a true white buffalo soldier in Key West. Wow. So Ernest Hemingway was not racial in any no. way, shape, No, no. I used to jump over his wall and swim in his pool. And what, what year was that? Man, I was 12 years old. I was born 1939. Wow. So that was in, was in the 50s, 40s, 50s. Right. So that was a good man, Mr. Hemingway. Ooh, man, them people cried like a baby. Okay. They died. Yo, Mr. Chapman on Chapman Lane, know your Key West history, Louis C. Rock. Sometimes we gotta turn up, but we gotta know our history down here. That's right. Southernmost point in the United States, 90 miles of Cuba. This man knows what's really happening. Because Key West is not part of the United States. That's right, we seceded from the Union we are, once. We're 168 miles from Key West to Miami, 99 miles to Cuba, and 110 miles to the Bahamas. That's why one part is company public, and the other part is Bahamas Village. Learn something. It took 43 bridges to hook Key West up in Miami, one of them is seven miles long. Take those bridges out, how you get up our land? Okay, and one last question. Do you remember when Key West seceded from the Union? When we seceded with the Border Patrol that they were stopping all the cars, and we got, we got the Conquer Republic, do you remember that? You, didn't, you know Key West seceded from the Union? One time when Dennis Wardle was mayor back in the day. Key West should be the North Bay the Union in the fight. So you say uh, Key West is really not part of the United States? It ain't. Okay. It took 43 bridges to hook Key West up. You're damn right, it's true, it's not. Check them it's only connected out, how you gonna get here by land? Right. Take them bridges out how you can get here by land. There you go. There it is, Louis C. Rock, Mr. Chapman. We out Goon Bay, come down here. It's a piece of paradise. I'm gonna holler 305. And tell people to leave my chickens alone. I'm talking about them roosters. How many roosters <laughs> no, see, no, 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 no. Five white girls come by and sit in my yard over there. One of them said, my accent. The other four said, I don't believe you. So you live here? I said, yes, I do. Can I ask you a question? I say, feel free. How can you stand on this damn noise with these chickens crowing? I say, ma'am, I don't stand, I sit. She ain't going on yet. I say, the day you don't hear these chickens crowing, you're a dead man. I say, did you complain when you eat them? And chickens play an important part in the Bible. I'm going over there now. Peter told Christ, I love you and I give my life to you for you. And Christ told Peter, you denied me three times before the cock crowed twice. And he did that, and the chickens been crowing ever since. There it is. Oh yeah. hell no! That's deep. Now if all these bridges get wiped out, deep. if all these bridges get wiped out, if we can't get food in time, what the hell are we gonna eat? But them chickens. Wow. Ain't no, ain't no fruits on the trees. One hundred. I told it like this. You go to Cuba, there ain't no chickens in Cuba. Watch this out. Watch this out. I told it like this. What happened one night, two o'clock in the morning, the chickens crow, you wake up and your house on fire. Now you gonna say the chicken saved my life? Now you get the chickens out. Good point. You see? So if the bridge get wiped out, we're gonna get food in time. You gotta go to the chicken because there ain't no food for the tree. Yeah, right. That's battery. Well, there it is. And uh, she said, I'm sorry, sir. I will never ask another question again. And that's and on alcohol that. Alcohol tells it all. On that, on that note, we're gonna wrap it. Thank you. Key West, Florida. We out there. And God bless you all. No doubt.